What's up everybody? So in today's video I'm going to be answering a quick question that I got here on YouTube which was from I Rustin. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce your name right right there. But anyway, he asked about my video about rendering HD in Final Cut. And so his question says, I watched your video on setting up the custom exports from Final Cut. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm trying to end up with a .mp4 file so that I can upload it to YouTube. I always end up with .mov files. When I did get a .mp4 file, the quality was significantly significantly dropped. If you could give me any advice, that would be awesome. Thanks, Rustin. And again, I apologize if I pronounced your name wrong. So, if you're not familiar, he was referring to the video that I did saying how to export HD in Final Cut Express, as you can see here. And in that tutorial, I showed you guys how to end up with a .mov file. And you can follow the same exact steps in that video pretty much for a .mp4 file, but I'm going to walk you through a couple steps in here on how I export all of my videos from Final Cut, just so you guys get a sense of how I do things. Now these are just my personal export settings, you don't have to use any of these, but these are the results that I get. So if you guys go to my channel or any other videos that I do. I post a lot of videos that I upload directly from Final Cut, like for example this time travel effect test video that was uploaded directly from Final Cut and I used all of these export settings on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and duplicate the settings that I use for that. So I have a file over here which is a movie file which I titled Crazy People in Cloaks which is a little random clip that I took of some people messing around at the Renaissance Festival and I created a Final Cut Pro project out of that. So if we go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro as you can see see here we have the clip down in the timeline this is the only clip I'm going to be using for this project because I didn't want to make like a full project for this video but to simulate some effects I dragged this clip into the timeline and I also messed around and did some color correction effects in there just to make it look a lot better I did actually upload this to YouTube but uh, without the color correction so we're gonna go ahead and just play through some of it right now and it's taking a lot of time to load because I'm recording the screen at the time of this video and I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to preview that simply because of my screen capture. But you basically get the point. This is that video right there. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, export this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to File. We're going to go to Export. And we're going to go to Export using QuickTime Conversion. And once that brings up this window right here, we're going to go ahead and just name it to whatever. We're going to save it to the desktop. We're going to choose to format it as an MPEG-4 down here. We're going to keep the default settings. Next, we're going to go ahead and click the Options button. And we're going to choose the file format from mp4 isma just to plain old mp4 up here we're going to choose the video format to h.264 and i'm going to change the data rate to 8000 next thing we're going to do is we're going to choose our image size now here if you're doing hd you can choose 720p hd right here which is 1280 by 720 or if you want to do 1080p you can do 1920 by 1080. my camera however shoots in 1080p however i usually render it in 720p so because i don't have the most powerful computer in the world and i don't want to completely kill my computer by doing 1080p so we're going to go ahead and use those settings right there you can choose the audio and the streaming options but i usually leave those alone because they're fine just the way they are right now at least for the sake of using my video. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and click OK and click Save. And once that's done, it should go ahead and export our video. Okay guys, and now we're done. So let's go ahead and hide Final Cut Pro to see our finished product. So as you can see here, it exported to Sequence1.mp4. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and compare the original clip and Sequence1 to go ahead and uh, see how the file sizes went. So let's go ahead and just open those up and get info here. So as you can see here, uh, the original clip, which was taken in 720p, the original clip that right here that I actually used in Final Cut is a slimmed down version of the original clip, which was 1080p, formatted for Final Cut Pro, which I showed you guys in another video. As you can see here, this clip right here, the original clip, unmodified, is 720p, and it's 253.1 mega, 253 megabytes on the disk. Now, sequence 1 over here is a .mp4 file, and it only takes up 37.7 megabytes on the disk, and it's the same exact file with the color correction on it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up sequence one and we're just going to go ahead and play it back. As you can see, it's a little bit shaky and I think I didn't do so well with the color correction. I just put the whites up a little bit too much. And now let's go ahead and show you guys the original footage. And 
So you guys get the point pretty much. It looks exactly the same. The quality is exactly the same except for my color correction was exactly the best in the world. But you guys get the just. So that's pretty much it. That is how to export some of the really awesome MP4 settings in Final Cut Pro or Final Cut Express. You're going to be getting pretty much the most amazing quality you can with the lowest file size. And those are the settings that I use. I hope this uh, answered your question, Rustin, if I pronounce your name right. But anyway, I hope this helps. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.